Right now, deep in classified facilities across America, engineers and scientists are building weapons so advanced they seem pulled straight from science fiction. Fighter jets that can't be detected. Lasers that shoot missiles out of the sky. Soldiers equipped with technology that makes them nearly unstoppable. This isn't the future. This is happening now. Welcome inside the U.S. Army's most cutting-edge technology, the gear that will define the next generation of warfare. Explosive transition. Let's start with the crown jewel of American air dominance, the F-35 Lightning II. With a price tag of $80 million per unit, this isn't just a fighter jet. It's a flying supercomputer. The F-35 represents three variants. The F 35A for conventional takeoff, the F 35B with vertical landing capability, and the F 35C designed for aircraft carriers. But what makes it truly revolutionary isn't just its speed or weaponry, it's the sensor fusion. Imagine having six cameras covering every angle around your aircraft, infrared sensors that can spot threats 800 miles away, and a helmet that displays all this information directly in front of your eyes. The pilot doesn't look at screens, they look through the aircraft. If a threat appears behind them, they simply look back, and the helmet displays the view as if the plane were invisible. But stealth is where the F-35 truly dominates. Its design deflects radar waves, special coatings absorb electromagnetic signals, and its internal weapons bay ensures nothing disrupts its radar signature. To enemy radar, the F-35 appears no larger than a golf ball, until it's too late. And the F-35 isn't alone. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD, is developing its successor. Details are classified, but leaked reports suggest it will be optionally manned. That means it can fly with or without a pilot, controlled by artificial intelligence, and coordinate with swarms of autonomous drones. These sixth-generation fighters will feature adaptive engines that can switch between fuel efficiency and raw power instantly, directed energy weapons integrated into the airframe, and the ability to operate in contested electromagnetic environments where traditional communications are jammed. Stealth technology has evolved far beyond just radar invisibility. The B-21 Raider, America's newest strategic bomber, takes stealth to unprecedented levels. Unlike the angular B-2 spirit from the 1980s, the B-21 uses advanced materials and computational design to minimize its signature across multiple spectrums, radar, infrared, visual, and even acoustic. It can penetrate the most sophisticated air defense systems on Earth. But stealth isn't just about being invisible to radar. Modern stealth technology includes thermal management systems that cool engine exhaust to avoid infrared detection, noise reduction technologies that make aircraft quieter than commercial airliners, and even visual camouflage systems being tested that could make aircraft harder to spot with the naked eye. The Army is also developing ground-based stealth systems. Radar-absorbent materials are being applied to tanks and armored vehicles. Thermal camouflage systems can mask the heat signature of vehicles from infrared sensors. And adaptive camouflage, similar to an octopus changing colors, is in testing phases. One of the most fascinating developments is plasma stealth technology. By generating a field of ionized gas around an aircraft, researchers believe they can bend electromagnetic waves, making the aircraft invisible to multiple detection methods simultaneously. While still experimental, this technology could revolutionize aerial warfare within the next decade. For decades, lasers and energy weapons existed only in movies. Not anymore. The U.S. military has successfully tested multiple directed energy weapon systems that are now being deployed. The Navy's laser weapon system, or LAWS, has been installed on USS Portland and has successfully shot down drones and disabled small boats. This isn't science fiction. This is operational military hardware. 
Here's why directed energy weapons are game changers. Unlimited ammunition. As long as the ship or vehicle has power, it can keep firing. Each shot costs less than a dollar, compared to millions for traditional missiles. And they travel at the speed of light. There's no dodging a laser. The Army is developing high-energy laser tactical vehicle demonstrators, essentially military trucks equipped with 50-kilowatt lasers capable of destroying incoming mortars, drones, and rockets. These systems provide a cost-effective defense against drone swarms, which have become one of the biggest threats on modern battlefields. But lasers aren't the only directed energy weapon. High-power microwave systems can disable electronics without destroying physical targets. Imagine shutting down an enemy's communications, radar, and computer systems without firing a single bullet. These non-kinetic weapons are perfect for modern warfare where precision and minimal collateral damage are priorities. The Strategic Capabilities Office is even exploring particle beam weapons, accelerating subatomic particles to relativistic speeds and directing them at targets. While still highly experimental, particle beams could potentially defeat any armor and destroy electronics through radiation making them the ultimate anti-armor and anti-electronics weapon. Artificial intelligence is transforming warfare faster than any technology in history. The Pentagon's Joint Artificial Intelligence Center is integrating AI into every aspect of military operations. Combat drones are becoming increasingly autonomous. The XQ-58 Valkyrie is an AI-controlled drone designed to fly alongside manned fighter jets, acting as a wingman. It can conduct surveillance, electronic warfare, or even carry weapons, all while coordinating with human pilots. But AI goes far beyond drones. Project Maven uses machine learning to analyze drone footage in real time, identifying threats and targets faster than any human could. This technology has already been deployed in combat zones, dramatically improving intelligence gathering. The Army's robotic combat vehicle program is developing unmanned ground vehicles that can scout ahead of troops, engage enemies, or evacuate wounded soldiers, all controlled remotely or operating autonomously. AI is also revolutionizing logistics. Predictive maintenance algorithms can detect equipment failures before they happen keeping more vehicles and aircraft operational. Autonomous supply convoys are being tested, reducing the need to put soldiers in danger on resupply missions. Perhaps most controversially, the military is exploring lethal autonomous weapons, systems that can identify and engage targets without human intervention. While international debate rages about the ethics of such weapons, the technology is advancing rapidly and several nations are racing to develop it. The soldier of the future won't just carry better weapons, they'll be better. The Army's Integrated Visual Augmentation System, or IVES, is essentially giving every soldier a heads-up display like fighter pilots have. Built on Microsoft's HoloLens technology, IVES provides thermal imaging, night vision, GPS navigation, and targeting information all overlaid on the soldier's field of view. Soldiers can see around corners using wireless cameras, share tactical maps in real time, and even see what their squad mates see. Exoskeleton technology is transitioning from science fiction to reality. The Sarco's Guardian Exo is a powered exoskeleton that allows soldiers to lift 200 pounds repeatedly without fatigue. Imagine logistics personnel loading cargo all day without strain, or combat engineers moving heavy equipment that normally requires vehicles. Body armor is evolving beyond Kevlar. Liquid armor hardens on impact, providing flexibility until struck. Graphene composites offer protection stronger than steel at a fraction of the weight. And smart fabrics with integrated sensors can monitor a soldier's vital signs and even administer medication automatically. The Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, or TALOS, aimed to create a full-body armored suit with ballistic protection, enhanced strength, and integrated life support. 
While the original program was canceled, research continues into individual components that will eventually be integrated into soldier equipment. Even weapons are getting smarter. The next generation squad weapon program is replacing rifles that have been in service for decades with new designs featuring programmable ammunition, improved range, and reduced weight. These aren't just guns, they're integrated combat systems. From fighter jets that dominate the skies to soldiers equipped like superheroes, the future of the U.S. military is being built today. These technologies aren't just about winning wars, they're about deterring them, protecting personnel, and maintaining global stability in an increasingly complex world. As potential adversaries develop their own advanced systems, the race for technological superiority continues. China's J-20 stealth fighter, Russia's hypersonic missiles, and emerging threats from cyber warfare mean America cannot afford to stand still. The gear we've explored today represents billions of dollars in research, the work of thousands of engineers and scientists, and the evolution of warfare itself. What seems like science fiction today will be standard equipment tomorrow. What do you think? Are these technologies the key to peace through strength, or are we entering a new arms race? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the technology shaping our world. This has been Inside the U.S. Army's Future Tech. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next one.